Hello everyone and welcome to Driven Mad. Now you may have seen on my 500 here that I have installed these dynamic LED indicators. Now I think they're really sexy, but a couple of people have commented as we did ask, uh, should we waterproof these? Now we didn't bother with anything, we just plugged them in and left them to be. But a few subscribers, so thank you to all of you, have said there's this specialist tape. Now Dad's ordered it and he's done a bit of research about it. So we're gonna head over to him in a minute whilst I pop these out. And he's gonna do a little test to see if it actually does keep them waterproof. Because the last thing we want is to trap the water inside the actual electronic plug. So let's move over to Dad and see what he's got. Right, so this is called self-amalgamating tape. Now, sorry, this is gonna be boring, but some of you, like me, we wanna know. So it's basically saying, ensure the surfaces are thoroughly clean and dry, peel back the liner and apply the tape to the surface. When applying, make sure you stretch the tape two to three times its length and overlap the tape by 50%. For hoses, we recommend three to four layers. For extra security, we use a cloth tape in addition. So, they are saying that if we overlap this gunky stuff. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it's a weird. Yeah, so you've got to stretch so that stretch a bit. stretch it and gunk it. Um, this should make a waterproof seal. So some of our botched attempts before, this was a camera off my Jeep. And as you can see, we did it with still a standard insulating tape. But I, we always worried that we would actually trap water and moisture in. We did, and yeah. And therefore we stopped doing it. So I'm going to sit and prepare this, and then I'm going to fill that, the old Reggie's X litter tray, <laughs> fill it with water, waz it in. Yep, and see if it's waterproof. Oh, it looks nice. It does. Right, so here is the tape on this say plug. The self amalgamating. The what? Self amalgamating. The self amalgamating tape. There it is, look. There. Now, we're going to test it in the kitty litter tray of Doom. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll be. Well, I've got to say, that looks like that self amalgamating tape's doing a fine job. God. Okay, so I'm going to take the indicator lights out. Now, if you slightly pull them, they move a little bit that you can see there. And there's a tiny little clip that you just have to touch, literally touch, with a pry tool. There we go. Right. So that you can see the connector is literally just open there. Um, luckily it's been nice and dry here in Portugal, so I haven't had any moisture in there yet. So this is probably a good time to do it. That's more like it, there we go. Right, I asked myself a question and I couldn't answer it. I wondered if you can use it in the engine bay with heat. So I thought, well, let's not mess about. We've got water. Let's set it on fire. Let's set it on fire. Just because I want to know. Will it burn or won't it? It'll melt. Oh dear. So I think the answer to that is <laughs> don't put that near your don't put it by your exhaust. No. Anyway, answered that, didn't it? That's remarkably flammable. <laughs> well, yeah, but at least we know. What happened to the old bit of uh, electrical tape? What's you, what do you reckon? No, I think it's going to melt. Not to that level, then. No. Oh, that's worse. Whoa. Oh, no, it doesn't, doesn't stay on fire though, does it? Look, it goes out. Well, it burns. How about your fingers? <laughs> okay. Ah, all right. Well, we we've know. Answered, we've answered the question yep. that nobody asked. Right then, that's the tape job done. It actually went remarkably well. We just it's had to. It, it made it a bit of a tight fit, but it's, it's all in there now. So let's hope that no water goes in there. But that's a very good tip. Yes, thank you for those. So, that is it. It is. Um, we'll do the other side. that You won't want to suffer watching us do that. So, nope. um, thank you for watching. Thank you.
Ladies will start to make 